Today we are going to install the great puppies and in this video I will show you how. how. Well hello, how are you doing? Welcome to my video. Today we are going to install a great puppies right here. The great puppies, they are a cover for your grips on your scooter. This one will help you with a little less vibration, a little more comfortable and more handling on your scooter. See many things you really need in your scooter for comfort really. You need maybe a seat cover with a little bit of cushion if you're traveling too far. You really need uh, some great puppies, those are really important for more handling. And maybe, you know, something that you really need is like uh, to make sure your carpet, uh, you know, the, the bottom part of your scooter, you have to make sure you put some Velcro. That's what I did a long time ago with my scooter and that is really helpful because sometimes the lower part, the mat that is on your scooter is moving around. So you want to make sure that you're safe uh, with your scooter when you're riding. You don't need to pay attention to little things le left and right. You really need to pay attention. You really need to pay attention to the street. That's why you're riding your scooter. But in the same time, you need some comfort. Okay, comfort is very important. So this one will help you out. I will show you how to install this one, the grip puppies. You can find them online. I'm gonna put the link down here if you like. So you can buy them, they're really cheap, about maybe around $10. And this one will help you a lot, especially with vibration, with, with, the, with the grip. Now, this one will make your grip slightly larger, but after you get used to it, you're gonna feel a lot better with less vibration on the scooter. And I will show you how to install them right now. Okay, one of the most important things that you have to do with your scooter, really, Put your scooter on a center stand. Every time you do any kind of job, make sure you put your scooter on a center stand. So anything that you're gonna do, maybe if you push the scooter one way or the other one, your scooter is not going to go anywhere. So that's really important because you don't want to save your scooter going down and try to catch and maybe you're gonna hurt yourself too. So make sure your scooter is nice, firm, on a flat surface, on a flat floor, make sure that your scooter is really firm, that it's not going to go anywhere. Because when you place your grips, uh, you really also have to push a little bit for make sure these grips are going to go in. Even if you're going to use, uh, a lot of people they use uh, water and soap that I really don't like. Eh? A lot of, um, some people they use uh, rubbing alcohol that's a lot better because it kind of evaporates a lot better, a lot faster. So when you put it in, that is going to help the grips to go in but in the same time, uh, it's going to go away. It's going to evaporate. So the alcohol, the, the 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 alcohol is not going to be there anymore after a few seconds. You know, a few seconds, about 10, 20, 15 seconds, something like that. It's not going longer to be there. So at that point, uh, these grips are going to go in. Now, many scooters, many grips, uh, they're made different ways. But this one, they will go above that, so you don't have any problem. So, the only thing, you have to take a measure to make sure that this part right here, you know, is longer than the grips, okay? So, at this point, I will show you that right now. Okay, right now we're going to open the grips right here. Those are the grip puppies, so let's open the plastic. And you're going to see how the grips are made. Good quality, you know. I like this kind of quality of these grips, uh, you know. And they look good and nice and comfortable. Now, when you're going to place them on the scooter, you're gonna feel a little more comfortable and less vibration. Now, I have two little things right here. I have the rubbing alcohol. Then I'm gonna put the rubbing alcohol right here, you know, gently, and rubbing alcohol inside right here of the grip. Now, before you do that, if you like, you can measure and look how long is this cover, okay? If it's too long, you want to cut a little piece so you can make a mark with the marker right here and you, you can cut them, okay? So they can be a little shorter if you want to. It's all about your taste if you want this one larger or shorter. Does it really, you know, make a difference? The difference is going to make when these grips are going to 
affect you you know you want to make sure that this one are going to be comfortable for you now if you want this one longer you can keep it longer if you want a shorter you can keep it shorter or if you like you can put it longer and then with the exacto knife you can cut around here okay so let's do that right now we take a little paper you can take like a cotton ball so you can take a little towels and so you with that one you can manage your rubbing out good rubber right there but make sure you put something right here okay because you never know the rubbing alcohol can damage your scooter plastic you know just the paint so too much rubbing alcohol will not be a good thing you know but just a little bit if few drops drop right here that's okay but try to co cover your scooter protect your investment this one is your investment okay so try to keep something right here to cover your scooter at this point we're gonna place a little bit of rubbing alcohol right here on the little towel okay and we're gonna place it right here on the handle okay we're gonna place it right here on the handle and we need to place a little bit of rubbing alcohol inside right here the grip okay we're gonna place a little bit of this rubbing alcohol inside the grip and you're going to turn because you want to make sure that enough of this uh, rubbing alcohol is inside there okay has to be nice and wet at that point you can start to push this one in and turn left or right okay so try to push the motion is this one okay that's how you have to push this grip in now when you're here at this point uh, you can cut this one when this one is in with an exacto knife okay so you can get an exacto knife and you can feel where where the older grip is at the position okay so i feel that it's right here so i can cut right here this one they cut pretty good you know you know, the Sato knife, they're a good quality Sato knife. You can cut this one in no time. But you know, make sure you do a little bit at a time. And you want to make sure you're careful with your finger. Okay? Because the Exacto knife, they're not a great knife. Because they're too sharp. Sometimes something that is really too sharp, but it's not good for you. Okay? Now, if you see, little by little, you can cut them. Okay? Now, you can do this one when this grips is not here. Okay? You can do it before that. You can cut them. You can take a measurement. And you can do that before. Okay? And it's a lot better. Okay? Because you have a little more. Now, right here, you have to make sure that looks good. Okay? now there is many many ways to place this grip on your scooter you can use uh, soap and water that is okay and but the only problem that maybe some soap might be there when it's raining so at that point maybe these grips are gonna start to turn on you so you want to have like a, a rubbing alcohol that will, after you place this uh, grips uh, the rubbing alcohol is going to be gone okay now try to make it nice if you like it with a very good exacto knife you can also shave this one in a way that is gonna look very good okay nice and look to your eyes but you know in the same time this one are going to be a little thicker a lot thicker when you place them on okay you need to have maybe a little time to get used to it to these grips because uh, they are a lot thicker than before okay now the thing is like you will get used to it maybe after one day but after that you're gonna feel a lot more comfortable and when you're riding your scooter you're gonna feel a lot better okay plus a lot less vibration on this part right here now we're gonna go to the other side and place the other one on the other side okay right now we are going to do the same work on this side right here on the left side now this part right here make sure you put something underneath right here 
to make sure you protect your property, okay? You don't want to damage your scooter. Really, it's not really damaging, but if some of the rubbing alcohol goes on your scooter, that might damage the paint, it might damage the uh, plastic, or might damage even the headlights. So, you know, try to protect your scooter when you do any kind of job in your scooter. And make sure if you do any kind of work on your scooter, make sure you put your scooter on a center stand. It's always very important. Now, this part right here, I want to cut this grip earlier, you know. So, you're kind of going to put the grip right here, okay. And with the exact one, you're going to press it like that to make sure this one is going to touch right here, the top part of your scooter of the handle, okay. Now you're going to make a cut with the exacto knife right here when you want this grip to be finished, you know. You want this one the end of the grip right there. And then you can get a scissor so you can have a better cut and more exactly cut right here and more efficient cut right here. Right here, okay? So right here you have a better cut of your grip now the part that you just cut i will not put it on the outside but i will put it on the inside so you will not see the cut part of this one you will see it, this part right here in the inside and the end uh, you will see a better finish okay so at this point we're going to place a little of this alcohol right here this one is a seven percent seventy percent rubbing alcohol right here and you can use it and you're going to place a little bit of alcohol inside here okay and what you're gonna do you're gonna turn when you place a little alcohol inside there you're gonna turn and little bit of alcohol right here a little bit of alcohol right here so you're gonna spread the joy right here of the alcohol right there okay right after that just before it's going to dry put this handle in okay now the motion is going to be this one okay you want this one to go in nicely and push it okay now it might be a little slippery for you when you put it in but it will go in so you're gonna push with this end you're gonna push inside you know some people they use a compressor and that's easy too but not everybody has a compressor in the house okay so keep turning this one one way you know and this one you're gonna do like that this motion right here and push in this way okay so you have to go this way okay at this point the grip is in now it's going to look a lot better if you do it this way because you're gonna cut this one before and then you flip the, the grip and you put the cut part inside but anyway there is many many ways to do this job and it has to fit your taste okay so is a is a way that this one you're going to like it this way or you're going to like it other way and uh, at the end uh, you really want to have uh, the finished product that the finished product is going to be a nice comfortable scooter okay for you because if you're riding every day you know you want something that is going to be comfortable to ride it you know and this one really it feels like it's a motorcycle now instead of a scooter because the grips are slightly thicker okay so it's going to be better it's going to be a lot comfortable Okay, in this video we just finished to install the grip puppies. Those are great cover for your grips right here. These ones are fantastic. You're gonna feel a lot better with your scooter, more control with your scooter, less vibration, and your hands are not going to get too tired. So, I'd like to thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, feel free to ask at any time. And thank you very much for watching.